What's up everyone? In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the Heroic Games Launcher on Mac. We'll also take a look at the best way to play Rocket League using Heroic. Let's check it out. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Safari, and I'm going to go to HeroicGamesLauncher.com. Next, click Download. We want the Mac OS version. If you're using a Mac with an Intel chip, grab the Intel version. If you're using an Apple Silicon Mac, grab the Apple chip version. Once the download is complete, you can go to your Downloads folder and double-click the Heroic DMG to unmount it. Once unmounted, you can drag the Heroic app into your Applications folder. Once the app has been copied over, you can right-click in the DMG and eject Heroic. Next, I'm going to go to my Applications folder, find Heroic, and double-click it to launch. So the first thing we're going to see is my Heroic Games Launcher library. Take note that not all of these games work on Mac. Every game is different, and it takes a little bit of testing to find out what's going to run and what won't. So the good news is that the Apple Game Porting Toolkit is now built into Heroic Games Launcher. We no longer have to have Crossover or Whiskey already installed on our Mac to properly use Heroic. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Wine Manager, and this is where we're going to download the Game Porting Toolkit. I have the Game Porting Toolkit 2.0 Beta 1 downloaded, but there are some bugs with it, so you might want to stick with Game Porting Toolkit 1.1 GStreamer or Game Porting Toolkit Latest. To download, click the Download button under Action. Once the Game Porting Toolkit is downloaded, we can see if I select a game, like the Callisto Protocol, and I click on the Launch Settings for it. Under crossover slash wine version is where we choose what is going to run the game. So you can see I have a bunch of crossovers, I've got a whiskey, game porting toolkit just finished downloading, but I'm going to keep it on game porting toolkit 2.0. So Heroic can connect to the Epic Game Store, the Amazon Prime Store, and GOG. You'll have to log into your accounts to access them. So to do that, we're going to go to stores. And then we can see we have the Epic Store, the GOG Store, and the Prime Gaming Store. So I'm already logged into the Epic Store, but let's log into GOG. So once logged in, I can go to Stores, and here's the GOG Store. I like going to the Epic Store and checking out what the free game of the week is. This week it looks like Gigantic Rampage Edition and the Callisto Protocol are free. But I want to play some Rocket League, so I'm in the Epic Games Store, I'm going to go to the search bar and search Rocket League. I already purchased the game, but if you haven't already, make sure to get it from the store. Once purchased, it will take about 5 minutes for the game to appear in your Heroic library, so wait a few minutes, then quit Heroic and reopen it. Once you reboot Heroic and see Rocket League in your library, you're ready to download it. Once Rocket League is finished downloading, we can click this little settings button right here and choose the way we want to run the game. So for this, I'm going to use Game Porting Toolkit 2.0 and see how that does. Make sure to enable msync for best performance. It looks like everything's ready to go, so I can exit out of the settings and click play to launch the game. Take note that when you launch the game, you might get a black screen for about a minute or so, but give it a few moments and the game should launch. If you notice that the game is running at the incorrect resolution and you can't change it through the game settings, go to Finder and search the word Heroic. We want the Heroic folder. Open the folder, select Rocket League, Engine, Config, right-click Base System Settings, open with Text Edit. On your keyboard, press Command-F to search the document and search the word Res X. Keep pressing enter until you get to res x and res y, then enter the resolution that you want. Right now I have it on 4K, but let's try 1440p. So under res x, I'm going to do 2560, and under res y, I'm going to do 1440. Click file and save the document. Now we're ready to play the game.